Oh, well, here are my three gorgeous, adorable girls, and they're in the spare cage. And I'm going to mention just um, again to remind people that when I film with the rats, they are usually in one of the Mary cages, the fur class Mary cages, and that is so you can actually see the rats. And also, quite often, I've been cleaning out the main cage, and this is where the rats will go when I'm cleaning the cage out. So we have Violet here, little Lara, and Primrose just over there. And Violet absolutely loves the flying saucer wheel. See, all the girls love the silent spinner. The silent spinner I'll show you in a minute, but they just love this little wheel in this cage. It keeps them occupied. <laughs> Yes, Violet. Violet is so funny. She's now around 12 weeks old and Lara and Primrose are around about 16 weeks old. So that's my girls in a spare cage. So when you see one of my videos, if I forget to mention in the description box or in the actual video itself, of course they, they do not live in the tiny cages. That is purely where they go while I'm filming or while I'm cleaning their cage. Now I'm just going to take you around here. To, this is their main cage which of course is my Savic Royal Suite 95 cage so my rats do have lovely big cages we don't have the um, smaller cages anymore because we don't have as many rats so at the moment this is where the girls are living I rearrange the cage every week basically we have two water bottles one on each level we have two food bowls one on each level you won't see them because they're tucked at the back we have lots of cargo nets to prevent falls. We have the Savic. We took out the actual level that came with this cage because I wanted to use my blue and pink plastic Savic platforms and ladders because they're easy to clean. It makes the cage a lot more interesting. So to cover this drop here, we've got some cargo nets and we have the only ladder that we have a sock on is the ladder that joins the top level to the bottom level or to the platform on the bottom level. Poor Violet, when we first put the ladder in, was really scared. So we added another cargo net for her to make it not so scary and it just stops them just falling down. So that's that level. We're trying different bedding, so I'm going to talk about beddings in another video. If you're waiting for my bedding video, I'm very sorry with the delay. Some of you all know if you're on my personal page on Facebook or on my Fizzy Star Rats Facebook page, but I developed shingles, a really nasty um, case of shingles around my hand and my wrist, and it made me really unwell, and because the shingles are in a really difficult place, what happened was I got cellulitis as well on top of it, so I had a really nasty infection, and my wrist was all swollen, my hand was swollen, I had to have it bandaged up and everything. And it was really hard for me to do anything. So I couldn't really do my filming properly and demonstrate things. And I felt really rough. I was having loads of antibiotics, antiviral tablets and creams and all sorts of things. So thankfully, after one month, <laughs> that is now going away. thought it would never go away. So I apologise for the bedding a video being delayed. I realised as well I couldn't do a bedding video in one week. I needed to test each bedding for at least a week in the cage to get the real benefit. So just to get back to my cage tour. So I have lots of cargo nets. I have a rope here that goes down here. We have our Savic Cocoon House, which the girls love. Their food bowl is in the back behind that pile of paper. Um, that's the, This is soft nest paper and this is Wormsley card. And I'll go through why I'm choosing the beddings that I'm going to use and how I found each bedding in the bedding video. That is one of our lovely little hanging hammocks from Cozy Beds and Burrows. We have some little chews there, little wooden chews. And I think they're called the Nobbler chews from uh, Pets at Home. I haven't found them anywhere else, but um, these are nice little stepping stones. And we have the little garland up there, chewy garlands shut this door we have another garland there that was a pets at home one I'm just going to shut the other top door so I don't knock myself out on this and we'll go down to the bottom level and I'll show you what we've got here and um, first of all we have a little hanging shoe and we have some more hanging shoes here to get down here and we've got loofah toys 
So that is the original platform, the only original platform that came with the cage with a the ladder there. And we've got at the back, we've got um, a fur plast tube that came with the Mary cage. So that's not only a nice place where the rats, it's on a slight angle, but the rats do sleep in there. But also it's another way to get down to the next level. We don't normally have the wheels in the cage, but because Prim and the other girls love the wheels so much, we've decided that we would actually put the wheel in the cage. We've fastened it to the back and they've been very sensible with it, but I wouldn't leave the flying saucer wheel in the cage. But that's a great toy for the actual um, for the for the spare cage. You can just see a food bowl at the back there. Lots of different card toys. A lovely rope toy there that's actually a dog rope that was from Sarah, my friend. And we do not have a ladder here. We have one of these ramps from Cozy Beds and Burrows. Now I'll just show you on the the spare one here. They've got fleece on one side and cotton on another. I normally have it fleece side up but I wanted to see the stars because as you know I love stars and purple. So that's that one. There is a Savic toilet at the back which you can see they are using <laughs> amazingly. They've been very very good about their toilet. Now um, I'm getting some more of these ramps made up. Last week I ran out because they were all in the wash so I got a purple cargo net and we attached the purple cargo net as a ladder and that just stretched down to the floor but that worked oh no actually we, we attached it to here so it went it ran from here down to this shelf here and that was also made a really good alternative ladder really exciting this week because my purple covers that I talked about have arrived so I have one more ramp which is purple fleece on one side and stars on the other and I have some spare covers all in this absolutely beautiful shade of purple which is slightly darker than the original purple so that's basically what I've done with my cage there's lots of toys hidden about lots of wood shoes loofers and um, the rats are absolutely loving this cage just three of them in there so they have loads and loads of space um, if you remember from way back when we built this cage about three years ago we built it wrong this this lift little bit here should actually be along the bottom but we didn't realize till we'd fully built it we didn't want to start again so what we do here is we actually find it's quite good because the rats can hop out so we've got some plastic boxes here that have our food and toys in we've covered that with a fleecy blanket so there's a soft landing and the rats when we open the door they can just hop out onto the boxes so that's basically how what I've done with the cage tour We'll see if we can go back to the rats now. And uh, well, we're just having a bit of a clean up, so it's a bit of a mess, but here they are. Hello, girls. You are lovely. The minute I open the door, you'll be out. Little Violet, constantly eating. She's always a hungry girl, isn't she? She's still growing, yes. So that's it for now, and I will see you soon.